Hi, I'm making this video because nobody talks about this anywhere on the internet or YouTube and I believe that the electronic manufacturers have now hidden the fuse so that you throw it away and you throw away your device. This is a Blu-ray player um, that has no power so if you're getting no power it's probably your fuse. You used to be able to open it up, spot the glass tube fuse and change it out. But now they have hidden the fuse inside of this one is the little brown box right here that is your fuse and how I figured that out is um, you got your sorry wobbly video you got your cord going into here with your positive and negative and on the other side of it um, before the uh, the positive side goes into your circuit you just have to put these together or get a new fuse and solder it back in there because that's your positive and negative so go ahead and put a wire from here to there and your thing will work again or Go ahead and buy a new fuse. Or go buy another DVD player. Is that what we were saying? Right. Okay, so again, uh, I just threw out a Blu-ray player that had no power. And it pissed me off because I knew there had to be a fuse there. And this is another one that came into my shop and I'm helping somebody fix it. Again, this little brown box. And I don't know if it's a different color in every um, DVD player or electronic that you open up. But the, the way I figured it out was, again, I'm going to try to talk slow here. You got your positive and your negative going in here. There's your circuit. And I realized it because this circuit has to get to this board on this side. And they've stopped it from here to there. And you wouldn't, it wouldn't be um, this big yellow block right here because that would connect positive and negative, And you're not trying to do that. So I found out that it was this one. So try to do some uh, troubleshooting. Um, take a look at it. A little bit of common sense. That might help. So uh, there it is. From there to there, I'm going to put a wire there. And when we turn on the Blu-ray player, it should work. Whether I want to go buy a fuse or just leave the wire, that's up to me. You know what I'm saying. I'm just showing you how to fix it. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks a lot.